So my final game for today is Wuchang Fallen Feathers, which is a Souls-like, and you are playing as Wuchang, who is the game's named after. This is going to be on Steam, Epic, PS5, Xbox Series X, and S. Uh, it's coming out in 2025. It is a Soul-like. You are Wuchang, a female pirate who's lost her memory and wakes up uh, on an island in the final years of China's Ming Dynasty. And uh, was it the island's name is Shu. Darkness has befallen the land. There is a kind of a disease or something going around. It's called ornithropy, which comes from the word for birds. And it's causing people to mutate into these weird bird monsters. So you're going to have various fighting styles, hidden weapons, ancient firearms, even the power of ornithropy, ornithropy itself. So you're going to have bird powers. And the reason that this actually attracted me was because watching the trailer, she's going on about, oh, you don't realize you're a monster until someone comes to slay you. And that just really reminded me of Neo 2. And I really enjoyed my time with Neo 2 because in Neo 2, you're like a half demon, but you're seen as the, or half yokai. So you're seen as uh, kind of this monster in your own right. And then so it reminded me a lot of that. But then watching the trailer, I was like, this seems so familiar. I feel like I've seen this before. And it reminded me of something. And I went back and double checked. And yes, this game had been revealed, I think, back in 2021. But there was a big controversy around it because this is a Chinese game and they had ripped assets directly out of Bloodborne. Some of the sound assets, they were some of the footsteps. You can watch videos online where they compare. They'll show you like a clip from this game and then they'll show you a clip from Bloodborne back to back where like they'll show running and it'll have the exact same footsteps, smashing boxes, exact same. Even in, in but I think they also do it in the other from software games too, but if you get like a counter, it does this kind of like this kind of shriek sound. This game had that exact same sound in it. Certain animations were identical, like in Bloodborne, you drink the flask, you heal. She drinks the flask, it has the orange light within her, does the exact same thing. So it was pretty blatantly ripped, that these assets were pretty blatantly ripped out of Bloodborne and then they just changed some of the models and stuff. So there was a bit of controversy around that. Now, that was back in 2001, so I can't say 100% that's still the case. It might be the case where in early development, they were like, we need these stand-in things. Like, we need a sound effect. Here's one over here. Let's just take that and plug it in, and we'll put it in our own later. When Marvel movies and stuff like that, right? They'll pick, like, already known songs for scenes, and then they'll write the music for that scene later. They just need something to set the tone. So maybe that was the case. I have a feeling it's not going to be the case, but we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, I saw the game and it looks a lot of fun, but then it's got this controversy and I thought that's a story worth telling. That's why I picked this one.